there's an area that gets a little bit overlooked with regards to our clients or legacy clients or someone that you've worked with in the past. I'm talking about the retention of information during the build, prior to the build, and maybe a little bit afterwards as well. Let me give you a scenario. You're building a website for a client or someone, and you may have discussed some ideas or options. And then you've gone and said, well, use this plugin, and we might do this wireframe or this design, and then you go and build it. And you may have added in some custom CSS code or a bit of HTML or JavaScripting as well. We may have explored options, but you didn't use in the end, or you collated images and content and then you revised it. So you may have this like whole swag of stuff that you may have discussed with the client and then you used it, or maybe you didn't use it, but there were some ideas on the table. Now, it was a one off build. A year down the line, the client comes back to you because there's a problem. Now, it depends if you've got a maintenance plan with them or whether you are going to start to help them out or you're going to charge them. But let's just say you decide you're going to help them out, but you did not keep hold of maybe some images or some content or for whatever reason, the backups are now so out of date or whatever, you know, they haven't been keeping them regularly. And that custom CSS code has gone missing, but you never kept a copy of it either. And it was something so custom that you created with a bit of AI or maybe you really experimented trial and error, but you've lost that code. Or maybe there was an option you discussed and you didn't go for it in the end, but now you, they do want to go for it. Or maybe even you've decided it's a good idea to do it, but you can't exactly remember what the option was or maybe what the plugin was, or what the exact steps were to deliver what the client or you wanted to deliver. Now, these are things that I think we should be taking a little bit more seriously. Now, how you keep hold of those ideas is entirely up to you. Atrim is a great solution where you can collate and keep things. You could maybe use Notion and keep all your ideas there. You could have a dedicated folder, not just on your hard drive or a server. You know, you might want to keep it on the cloud somewhere or you may keep it in an email. Let me tell you a trick I used to do when I was writing novels. Whenever I worked on a novel each day with a new chapter or if I revised it, I would always email the full copy of that manuscript or the document back to myself. And it meant that every day I had copies, but it didn't matter because I could delete them. But it meant that if I was anywhere in the world or if suddenly there was a problem with my hard drive, as long as I could access my email, which you can do if you can log into your email, I had the latest copy. And I often had a few backups as well because I kept emailing a copy of a manuscript back to myself. Now, I'm not saying every time your client sends you stuff, you keep emailing it back to yourself. But if we don't like keep a record or store carefully those wireframes, those designs, codes, options, might even been color schemes. It might have been an original image. Maybe there was an image uh, that you got for the client or they gave to, gave to you. You went and modified it or did something to it, and then the client wants to go back, but they've lost the image. You could easily say, well, that's your problem. What if they gave you the only copy, thinking that you would keep it safe? Have you had that conversation with your client? Because what you don't want is, let's say you are on a maintenance plan, and you've been looking after the website for four or five years, and then all of a sudden they go, I want to do X, but you have not got the original or well, you have not got the document that clarified what you were going to do for them. Or well, why did you even do that in the first place? I gave you a spec. We deviated. But why did we deviate? Have you got a record of that email or that conversation? Because they might turn around and go, well, I know we agreed to it, but that's because you said X. Well, what did you say to them? Because you have not got a copy of that email. So why did you deviate from the wireframe that they paid someone else to design? What was the reasons behind it? So I feel like take a little bit more seriousness, attention. Let me rewind. Pay a bit more attention and take a bit more seriously what the clients want or what they provide to us or what advice we give back to them because you don't want to get hit later on. And a scenario I'll give you is that there was a time when a client wanted to move their website and get rid of an old website. And we made very clear what we were doing with them. And then they later on went back on that. And the evidence for why we did what they wanted us to do suddenly got lost because the emails were deleted or we didn't have a full track record. This is a long, long time ago. The lesson is to always stay in control and make sure you have 
evidence of what you do and why you do it. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you soon.